What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be diving into a really fun deck. That's right, by the wife and husband duo. That's right, Ricky and Kelly Ten Hove, right out of Canada. That's right. One is a FedEx pilot and the other is a at-home mom who used to also be a science and math teacher. That's right. They designed this really cool custom 100% hand-drawn deck and we're going to be reviewing it here today. So join me now. We're going to be looking at the Red Fox playing cards. That's right. By Kelly and Ricky Tenhove. Buckle in your seatbelts. We're going there. Let's go. The Red Fox playing cards by Kelly and Ricky Tenhove were on Kickstarter on October 29th, 2019 and went through November 28th of 2019. This project was successfully funded in only 12 hours. That's right, after an amazing 244 backers pledged 16,302 Canadian dollars of an original $5,000 goal. The husband and wife duo hand drew this deck with pencil crayons, bringing it to its ultimate detailed glory. There were two versions of this deck on Kickstarter, the original, which is the V1, which is the marked edition, and then also the V1.1, which is the purple, not marked. Also, while on Kickstarter, this deck had a lot of really fun and cool add-ons, such as the Impossible Bottles by Stanley Impossible, the Poker Chip, which was also a really cool add-on, and then my favorite, which was the Small Little Fox in a Bottle. The front of the tuck box is very whimsical, as is the rest of the design. You're going to see the Red Fox make its appearance there on the tuck, as well as the inside of the deck, which we'll get into shortly. You're going to see that all-white classic background on the front. You're going to see in the center, which is the ambigram that says Red Fox. An ambigram means that it can be read the same way, whether it's this way or upside down. You're gonna see the red fox there up on the left and the upside down. You're gonna see a kind of a lily pad home with the frog above it. The red fox on the right kind of sleeping and some more mushroom artwork houses to finish it off. The left side of the tuck box is going to say the version of the deck. Like I said earlier, the version 1 is the marked version of this deck and the 1.1 is the non-marked purple. The right side of the tuck box is going to say Red Fox playing cards. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy about the United States playing card company. This deck is a wraparound tuck box, that's right, so the front of the tuck is going to carry around throughout the sides as well as the back design, making it really cool if you stack three or more decks together, as you can see here. The back design still continues to have that same whimsical feel with foxes, houses made of mushrooms, and really deep, intricate colors and designs, bringing it all together in that two-way design that we're going to see on the back of the cards as well. This is going to have a standard United States Playing Card Company tuck seal as well. The top of the tuck box there is going to say poker with that bluish kind of border along the sides. The inner part of the larger flap is going to say redfoxplayingcards.com. The inner flaps of the decks of both are going to have two different reveals. The purple non-marked edition is going to have a 10 of hearts reveal there, while the marked edition is going to have a 4 of hearts reveal. That's it for the tuck box. Let's look at these cards. This deck does come printed by the United States Playing Card Company on their classic stock. It does have a modern cut and an air cushion emboss, and this is a limited edition run of only 2,500 decks. The back design on this deck is what we saw earlier on the back side of the tuck box. Both versions are pretty much the same, besides some intricate little details such as the purple version, also the non-marked version, having that purple kind of fill-in in the background making each of those designs kind of pop even more. 
Also on the purple version, the border is kind of made up of the design itself. The marked version also comes with a free pair of 3D glasses that we used to see back in the times, making it easier to read those kind of markings. But I assure you, once you have the design or the markings down, believe me, those glasses are no longer needed. With this deck, you're going to receive some extra cards. That's right, the first two are your jokers, and these are the same in both decks. That's right, the first one's going to be the goodbye joker, and the other one's going to say hello. Why do I say that? Well, if you put on those very unique glasses, that's right, you see it come across there in the hidden text. It's going to say goodbye there on the mushroom, and the other one's going to say hello. The other two cards in the marked version are going to be a double backer, which is great for magic tricks and has the back design on both the front and back of the card. The other card you're going to get is a duplicate five of spades, which also cool for magic tricks and more. The other deck, that's right, the purple or non-marked version is going to come with two double backers. The first double backer is a regular double backer, which just has the, you know, back design of both the front and back. The other one is a double double backer, which features the back design of the marked deck as well as this one. Like I said earlier, this deck is 100% customized and hand-drawn, that's right. As you can see here, everything is hand-drawn by pencil crayons there. The reds on the hearts and diamonds are very nice, and it's going to kind of fade from that pinkish reds and yellows and whatnot, still making it very recognizable at first glance. The blacks in this deck are not really as black as they should be, but are very noticeable as well, fading from that kind of darkish blue color to greens and more. The courts in this deck are 100% hand drawn as well and very close to the USPC standard making it very recognizable for magic gameplay and more. You're going to see also a couple personalized courts such as the Queen of Hearts which is Ricky Tenhove herself and then making an appearance in this deck also who gave his blessing is Mr. Chris Ramsey as the King of Clubs. And then finishing it off, you're going to see Mr. Kelly Tenhove as the King of Hearts, and it says Kelly Cards on his chest. The aces in this deck follow suit literally with the other parts of this deck and design until you get over to the Ace of Spades. That's right. It's going to feature this very nice kind of mushroom shaped Ace of Spades there with the little chimney blowing smoke out of it and a swing with some windows in it and more. Also, if you put on those 3D glasses, you're going to see it says Red Fox underneath. That's it for this deck. Follow me now for my final thoughts. All right, my final thoughts on this deck. I give it a four out of five. It's a really cool, fun deck, man. A lot of effort was put into this deck. Just ridiculous amounts of effort. You know, hand drawn all the way through and through from the tuck to the pips, to the indices, to every little detail. Um, even though I'm not a fan of the marking system, uh, I like the effort that was put into it. It was very original. Um, it's a little hard to see, at least for me. Like I said, it could be easier for others. Um, for me, it was a little tough, at least without the glasses. Um, there are some cards that you could see, like the threes and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of them are kind of, they just kind of flow within the back design. Um, so, I, I, you know, even though that is the case, I, I'm really interested to see what they do going forward. Uh, really cool, really humble, nice people over there. Um, it's just a great deck, like I said, all the way around. Um, you know, it, the Kickstarter was a success. Like I said, it funded within 12 hours. I mean, this that just proves to you that people were really drawn into this deck, no pun intended. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I can't really say nothing bad about it, to be honest. Um, you can use it because of the, the standardized pips and indices and courts. You can use this for, for magic. You can use this for cardistry because of that colorful back design. You can use this for gameplay as well. So I really like that, that they kind of, kind of, you know, appease to all of the different genres within the community. And yeah, it's going to be uh, interesting to see where they go from here. So yeah, that's all I can say about it. So you know, I'll link everything down below where you guys can go and check out these decks. Like I said, um, it, it, get your hands on them. Don't pass it up because once they're gone, they're gone. 
Um, so I do want to thank Ricky and Kelly for sending me these decks so I could do the review for you. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Well, ah, oh, shit.